friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Mark Train here, and we're going to be building these single level Mark II coach cars. And at the end of it, I'm going to show you how to modify one into the cab car for the end of the train here. So let's get right into the build here. So the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then coming off the coupler, we're gonna run a line of polished black stone blocks on this second layer, straight down the middle of the tracks. And that's gonna be 42 blocks long in total. Then once you have 42 blocks, we'll take out a dark oak stair and we'll put a coupler on this end, also with a dark oak fence gate underneath it. Then under this here, a polished black stone slab and extend it out to the side on each side by one slab, then a polished black stone block on each side above it. Then an upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stair on either side. Next to the coupler, open a dark oak fence gate on each side then on the outer edges, an item frame with a lapis lazuli block in it on each side. We'll do the same thing down here. So a slab under here, extend it out to the side and on this side. Then a polished black stone block on each side. Then an upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stair on each side. Open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then an item frame with lapis on each outside edge. Now come up in this corner and we'll put a polished black stone block on either side like this and an upside down outward facing polished deep slate stair on each side. Then under that on the outer edge, we're gonna get a right side up polished deep slate stair. Same thing on this side here. Then we repeat it at the other end. So a polished black stone block here and here and an upside down polished deep slate stair on each outside edge. Then get a right side up polished deep slate stair under it on each side. Then we're gonna come under here on the next block behind where the stairs are and we're gonna get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna put three upside down Polish deep slate stairs facing this way. Then we're going to do two rows of three polished black stone down here. Skip a block and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then in this gap, three polished deep slate stairs facing the opposite way. So it looks like this. Then on the sides of this polished black stone, we're going to put two stairs facing each other like that. Do the same thing on this side here. Then we have to build our truck at the other end. So same thing right in front of these stairs under here. Netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then three upside down, polished deep slate stairs. Two rows of three polished black stone. Skip a block. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then turn around, three upside down polished deep slate stairs in here facing this way. Then a polished deep slate stair facing each other on the side of the polished blackstone section. And same thing on this side here. Then come through on each side of these middle stairs, put a horizontal lightning rod. Same thing on this side. Then we'll do this end, same thing here. And on this side. Then we'll come back through and we're gonna put a hopper on the sides of the wheels. On both sides of the car. Then of course do the other end, hoppers in front of these wheels. And on this side. Then we'll come up on this next layer here. And we're gonna close a dark oak trap door here 
in here. And then same thing down here, close the trap door here, in here. Then we'll extend this next layer so it's three wide. So we're gonna come down each side of this center beam with polished black stone block to the other end so this second layer is three wide. Right down to the end here. Now we'll come on side of this polished black stone, skip two over from the wheels, and do four light gray shulker boxes. Then we're going to leave another gap of two, and on the third block out from that, we're going to switch over to grindstones here, and we're going to put a row of six sideways grindstones. Then Switch to Blast Furnace, skip one, three Blast Furnaces, skip two, two Lodestones, skip one, two more Lodestone. Then on this side, we'll start from this end, same thing. Skip two from the wheel, four light gray shulker boxes. Skip two, and six Grindstones. Skip one, three Blast Furnaces, Skip two, two lodestones. Skip one, two lodestones. Now come on top of the end, put five light gray concrete across here. And we'll do the same thing at this end. Five concrete across here. Then behind it on each side and upside down, outward facing, polished deep slate stair. And same thing on each side over here, upside down, polished deep slate stair on each side. Then we'll come up on this third layer, on this outside edge, we're going to do a full line of gray concrete above the polished black stone here, down to the other side. Then come across this end and back up this side. Then one in the center here on the end, then we'll fill the rest of the center here, end to end with cyan terracotta and bring that to the other end. Then on this top outside edge on this third layer, we're going to go end to end on the upper hitbox with smooth stone slabs. And then of course we'll do the same thing on the other side, end to end up here with smooth stone slabs. Then we'll come on the end here, we'll put a door in the center, and a 2x2 two two of light gray concrete on either side, and 5 light gray concrete across the top. Then we're going to put a door on each side here and here. And then a door on the middle of this end, and one on each side. Then a 2x2 two two of light gray concrete on either side. Five light gray concrete across the top. Now that we have all the doors in on the ends here, we'll start doing the sides of the car. And on this bottom outside edge, we'll do a full single layer of light gray concrete down to the other end. Then same thing here, full single layer of light gray concrete going end to end here. Then starting next to the door here, we're going to do two blue concrete. And then we need to do all of our windows after that. So two blue concrete, then we're going to do two black stained glass panes for each window with a gap of space between them. And we need to come through and have a total of 11 windows. So just keep doing that, a gap of space between them with two black stained glass panes until you have 11 of them. And 
here I was counting to make sure I had 11. And then come through and put a single blue concrete between each one. And then fill blue concrete down to the end here. Then come across and we'll just copy our blue concrete pattern directly across from the other side. And then fill in them all with black stained glass. Just like that. Then we'll come up top here and go all down the top outside edge above the windows with a single layer of light gray concrete. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full single layer of light gray concrete up here. Then we'll come in here one block from the end, use smooth stone to frame in a doorway. Then we'll come around on this other side of it and put a door there. Come down to this end, same thing, one block from the end, smooth stone, frame in a doorway. Come around here, put a door in there. Then a sideways end rod on either side of this top to light the end, and same thing down here. Now take stripped acacia logs, three going here with the pattern vertical, skip one three here, an end portal in here, Turn this way and put a door on it for the bathroom. Then we need to get a stripped acacia log with the pattern going vertical here and delete that one for placement. On this side, three columns of three. Come down to this end and we'll just frame this door again with stripped acacia logs. We'll have to put a temporary one here to get the one above the door going vertical. Then decide which way you want your seats to be facing and we're gonna come up each side of the car with a dark prismarine stair for the seats with a block of space between them all. And bring it right down to this other end. Then we're gonna light the car. For that, we need end rods. On this top middle, we're gonna go end to end up here with horizontal end rods for the lighting. Just keep it coming here and right down through there to the other end. Then we'll do the overhead storage racks. So on this upper block on the side, on the bottom hitbox of it, we're going to do a full row of iron trap doors on each side. Now come on this top outside edge, do a full line of smooth stone slabs up here and bring it down to the other end. Then same thing on this side, a full line of smooth stone slabs end to end up here on this side. Then once that's done, we're gonna go three wide on the top middle with light gray concrete and bring it all the way down to the other end. Next, we'll come on top, skip two blocks in from the end, knock out these two, put in cobbled deep slate and iron trap doors above them. Do the same thing at this end. So knock out these two, cobble deep slate, iron trap doors above them here. Then on these sides, we're gonna skip two in from the end, change this slab to deep slate tile, skip two, change this one. Do the same thing on this side. And then we have to do it at the other end. So come down here, skip two from the end. This one becomes deep slate tile, skip two, change that one, and then do the same thing on this side here. Now we'll come down on the end of the car, put an iron trap door in front of this door, polish black stone brick wall on either side, come up and over the door. 
then a redstone torch on either side of the top here. Then we'll repeat the process at this end. So iron trap door in front of this door, walls on either side of it, come up and over it, and a redstone torch on either side of the top here. Now we're gonna take out an acacia sign here, and everywhere there's blue concrete, we're gonna put acacia signs on it. So a full row on here, and then one on each of these window dividers. And just keep bringing it down here. Except when we get next to this door, we actually need to type on this sign. So on this sign next to the door, we're gonna put mark in all caps and hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll do the same thing on this side here. So come on over. Next to this door, we'll do our acacia sign. It's same thing. We're gonna type mark in all caps and we'll hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll continue on putting a blank acacia sign on every piece of blue concrete on the side here. And then a full row of signs right here. And that completes the build for the single car here. What we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build as many of these cars as you want on your train here. I don't know how many of these actually run with, so I've just added a few in here. And now we're gonna learn how to turn the very last car into the cab car for the end of the train. We're gonna come under here and knock out the polished blackstone slab on each side here. And then we need to come up next to the coupler and we're gonna delete the dark oak fence gates on either side of the coupler. We'll also take out this middle polished blackstone slab and we'll put three polished blackstone blocks on this bottom middle. Then in the corner here, we need to get a right side up polished blackstone stair here and on this side. Then on the bottom of each side here, we need a regular item frame. And on the top of each side, we need a glow item frame. On the bottom ones, put a redstone block. On the top ones, glowstone. Then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna delete all of these walls off the end here and the ones above the door. Then we'll knock out one block on either side of the door here and put in black stained glass. Then on this top middle an item frame with glowstone up here for the headlight and I did that wrong it should be a glow item frame. Then we're gonna grab dark oak fence gates here. And up top, we're gonna open back to back dark oak fence gates for the horn. And we're actually gonna make it three wide up here. Just like that. Now we need to make a banner. So we're gonna come into a loom with orange banner and blue dye. We're gonna put a, a vertical in the center. Then, still using our blue dye here, we're gonna put a blue border around it here. Then, we're gonna put a blue horizontal across the middle like this. Then we're gonna switch to light gray dye, and we're gonna make the bottom half light gray. Then come up here, put two of these banners on each side like this. And now we have to work on the interior. So we'll come on in through the door here and we'll start knocking stuff out. 
we're gonna take out this door, this whole door frame. Then we're gonna take out these logs on each side. And this bathroom and this column of logs. Then right here, go ahead and frame in a door frame with smooth stone. Over here, we're gonna grab our stripped acacia logs again. And we'll put a full column of logs in these gaps here. So we've essentially removed the bathroom to make room for the cab. Then we'll put a door right there, a stair on each side here and here for seats. Then we'll take glow item frames, one up here with an end crystal. A lever down on the right, another glow item frame with an egg crystal over there. And now we have a little mini control cab on this end, and that completes the modification here. So this completes our tutorial for our Mark II coach and cab cars. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.